On Monday, Premier Su Zhen Chang led his cabinet members to resign en masse ahead of a government reshuffle. During his last session at the Executive Yuan, Su said he was stepping down to take responsibility for the DPP's poor showing in the local elections last year. The new cabinet, led by former Vice President Chen Jianren, will be sworn in on Tuesday. Many of the cabinet members will remain in the same positions. On the first day back from the break, Su Jianchen led his last session at the Executive Yuan, posing for a group photo with his cabinet. Su, who tendered his resignation before the Lunar New Year, is the longest-serving premier under a democratically elected government in Taiwan. He wrapped up his last four years in office with a thank you to his team. Su has not given much comment on what his next steps will be. The new cabinet will be sworn into office on Tuesday, led by former Vice President Chen Jianren. Many of the officials will remain in the same positions, including Council of Agriculture Minister Chen Jijong, Health and Welfare Minister Xue Reiyuan, and Digital Affairs Minister Audrey Tang. We just work hard on getting things done. That's how it is. Premier Su gave us teapots and tea, both of which have to withstand the heat. During his last session, Su said his departure was an act of taking responsibility while asking his cabinet members to keep up with their work. As a parting gift, he gave each a teapot and tea, symbolizing the high heat and pressure of working in the executive yuan. National Defense Minister Chiu Guozheng said he would continue working toward the goal set by Su. We will continue to try to meet the targets we established before during this coming year. Regardless of the management methods, go step by step, focusing every month, every quarter, and every half year. The policies we'll be implementing are the ones we've explained in the regular briefings. That's what we're working on. The new cabinet will be sworn in at a ceremony on Tuesday, bringing a breath of fresh air into the executive yuan.